In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Lord of life and love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Holy One who brings truth and grace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us of our sins. Bring us to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O Lord, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus the Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So we went back to sleep. Again the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said, you called me. But Eli said, answered, I did not call you. My son, go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence calling out before Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord. And the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My friends in Jesus Christ, the problem for us who have faith is not so much in believing God's presence dwells among us, but in recognizing our Lord when we see him. 2,000 years ago, our God made his presence known on that beautiful night in Bethlehem. Today, 2,000 years later, you and I must be open to the discovery of the presence of Jesus Christ in our midst, in new and unexpected ways. Our Jesus tells us, you will see me most clearly in the faces of your brothers and sisters whose demands on your love and your concern are the hardest to me. Never let us forget, my friends, our Jesus knows each and every one of us by our very names. And today in the year 2021, our Jesus asks of each and every one of us 
if we have found him. Then Jesus says to us, now that you found me, do you love me? And we will say without a doubt, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Then Jesus will be quick to reply, then let your actions be as strong as your tongue, and come, follow me. In the world around us, do we see the Lord Jesus Christ in our daily lives? Do we see him within our homes, among members of our own family and friends? How about those we work with, those we go to school with? How about the people we walk by and drive by each and every day? My friends, the week ahead is a week of change for our country. A new president, a new administration, and the media is telling us that it will be a week of turmoil and violence. But our Lord today is telling us to turn to his peace and his justice. If I may, in the words of President John Kennedy, leave these words with you. One person can make a difference, and each and every one of us should try. Let the Jesus within you and me make a difference to the world around us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And while the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Looking for our needs to be fulfilled, we now to the, turn to the Lord with our prayers. For our nation, as we prepare for the inauguration of our 46th president and the new administration this coming Wednesday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, during this time of great tension and unrest, let us pray for peace and harmony throughout our land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, who continues to be plagued with the coronavirus, let us pray for safety among all people and for the vaccine to be distributed to everyone as soon as possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling 
to hear the Lord's voice in their lives and understand the nature of their calling, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick of our parish family, for those in hospitals, convalescent homes, for those struggling with the coronavirus, for those of our community who ask us to pray for them in their time of need, their names found in this weekend's bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially James McInerney, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the requests made on our St. Thomas prayer line, respect for all life, job opportunities for all, for the relief of financial burdens, safety of all first responders, and essential personnel. Let us also remember our military personnel. And now we pray for our own personal intentions. Loving God, grant this and all the prayers we make through your Son, in whose name we work toward perfect unity as one body of Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, who is indeed our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated. The work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Redeemer and Savior, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will, gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and archangels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we now acclaim.
holy, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time that Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, our blessed Lord took bread, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once again giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, his friends saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. But do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be partaking, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Frank Caggiano, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, and at this time, let us remember our nation as it continues to struggle with the pandemic, but with violence and injustice. Let us pray for our new president and his administration. Let us pray for President Trump as he leaves office. Let us pray that this week will be a week of peace and justice. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the patroness of this nation, with Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, the Glorious Martyrs, St. Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We together pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in all our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give unto you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always and with your spirit. My friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold our Jesus, who came to this world to take away the sin of the world. Happy and blessed are those of us who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall. Let us pray together our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
few announcements for this weekend. Monday of this week is a national holiday, Martin Luther King Day. Our parish offices will be closed, but the 1210 Mass will be celebrated as usual. Next weekend, January 23rd, 24th, the annual collection for the Church in Latin America will be taken. Parishioners of St. Thomas will receive a 20, <clears throat> 20 contribution statement for tax purposes by the end of January. The funeral mass for Sister Monica Leonard, our former CCD director, may now be viewed on our parish website. And just a heads up, Ash Wednesday is coming February 17th. We will have two Masses that day at 12.10 and 5 p.m. and two Liturgy of the Word services with ashes at 8 a.m. and 3 o'clock p.m. You need to sign up at the parish office in order to attend these Masses and services. You may do so beginning this coming week on Tuesday. Let us pray. O Lord, pour out on us your spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless each and every one of us, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ending. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the room of souls. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Pray for our nation. Pray for our government. Pray for peace in our land and harmony. And be safe.